Hello everyone, welcome to Great Place to Work, Hong Kong 2020 Award Ceremony. This is a very special and unique event this year given the circumstances. So I would like to ask everyone to join us either from home or from the office to go virtual, to go interactive with us. Hashtag Great Place to Work, hashtag Better Together. We will just wait for five minutes until everyone is online. So I will ask you to please hold on for five more minutes and to officially kick off our Best for Place Award Ceremony. Thank you.
welcome back. We're back to officially kick off the Best Workplaces in Hong Kong 2020 award ceremony. And we are very excited this year because it is not only a special year because of the circumstances, as I mentioned before. We are very excited because this is our fifth year celebrating the Best Workplaces in Hong Kong. And under this pandemic that has brought so many challenges to us as individuals, workers, parents, even friends in so many ways. And this year's award ceremony is particularly special because we will celebrate and recognize all these companies that are doing great even during this pandemic and special, special moments. These companies are sustaining the culture that brings and creates trust. But firstly, let me recognize our supporting organizations, Starmaker and Habitat for Humanity, and our longtime media partner, South China Morning Post, and PR Newswire that help us spread the good news. And now, without further ado, let me introduce you, our CEO, Jose Carlos Vesanilla, who will address you also from home. Please, Jose. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Welcome, everybody, to this very special event that we are having for this virtual award ceremony for Hong Kong Best Workplaces in 2020. It's a very outstanding situation that we're having. Let me tell you the story of how did the whole thing started somehow for us it was January 27th. We were in the last day of our strategic meeting for 2020. And little did we know that what we're, we were planning for the whole year, 2020 had very different scenarios for us. It changed in a very dramatic way, pretty much most of the workplaces around the world were impacted. Everybody working anywhere, most, mostly anywhere, they were impacted heavily by this pandemic and it created a big disruption. In our methodology, in our, based on our research and our experience and one of the core things that we push every time we interact with our customers, trust is a key element. Trust has been in the core of all the, the, the methodology that we have. We are pushing a lot about around it because we know that when you have a good level of trust, things move ahead. That is in the old normal, but guess which element became relevant and outstandingly important? It became actually the quintessential element for dealing with what is now called the new normal. Yes, trust. Just think about it. If you are planning on managing a team from a distance, if you're planning on having teamwork when everybody's sitting at their own homes, if you're planning on having the constant performance, the innovation that is required, and on top of all this, if you're needing to cope with the situation, reinventing yourself, if you're needing uh, a lot of this adaptation, the resilience, which is called, you really need that trust is there. And now it, more than ever, it's the key element for this. So, I don't know, I was reading the other day, passing by, I saw a sign outside a cinema, a movie theater, and it said, welcome back for business as usual. I don't know about that. I don't know if it's going to be a business as usual, but uh, very likely it's going to be a very different situation than one that we are be going to be leaving and definitely will require a, a, an outstanding development of leadership. Will require uh, a lot of uh, positivism and optimism from an HR team that will have to keep pushing forward, keep presenting nice scenarios and selling the whole idea of how we can continue uh, doing the business. We will need strong cultures. We will need a lot of consistency, a lot of uh, uh, renovation and constant improvement process will be more than ever uh, important. And if you have trust as the milestone, as the cornerstone, for this, it's going to be super important. So, well, 
Today we are celebrating many of these places that are outstanding, that are really relevant, that did amazingly good through the crisis of this pandemic and it's enough reason to celebrate. We want to celebrate and what better way to celebrate but to uh, commit yourself to do your best. And as a last note for my introduction to this event today, I just want you to remind you how important it is today to be grateful. One way or another, everybody today that is uh, gathering around this event, we have not only an opportunity of a job, not only a lot of blessings that we can be grateful for, but we have a great place to work. We're working for a great place to work, and that's really something we have to be grateful for, and definitely something that we are going to celebrate together with. So uh, commit yourself, become more resilient, become more innovative, become uh, definitely more um, uh, enthusiastic. We need enthusiasm, we need hope, we need people leading the other people that may, may be looking for sources of inspiration. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot on the other side of this camera and we're going to celebrate you. Thank you very much, carry on, let's celebrate. Thank you, Jose. We are indeed in very challenging times. Nevertheless, we have a better understanding that trust is a great tool for better performance and results. Now, we have a very special message from our global CEO, Mr. Michael Bush. Please, Mr. Bush. Hello, my name is Michael Bush, and I'm the global CEO of Great Place to Work. I'm doing this video today where I'm sheltering in place in California. But today, I wanna to celebrate you and congratulate you for being named one of the best workplaces in Hong Kong. So you're leading the way. You're treating your employees with respect in an open and honest way, and you're treating them fairly. That makes them want to do the best in terms of the products and the services that they work on to deliver to your customers. That's better for your business, it's better for your people, and it's better for the world. So congratulations on what you have done. I also want to highlight a few of our friends that have gone beyond just taking care of their employees, but also doing other great things in the community, fine companies like DHL, Stryker, SAP, and General Mills. So to all of you, of all the companies we work with in Hong Kong, a select group have separated themselves from everyone else through great leadership. And you're one of those companies. So congratulations. I wish the best to all of your people. I wish the best to your country and all your friends and family that they stay safe during this critical time. Once again, congratulations. Now, let me introduce you to Mr. Ho Kai Ming, under Secretary of Labor and Welfare, HKSAR. Thank you for supporting Great Place to Work, Mr. Ho. Hi, I'm Jonathan Ho, the Under Secretary of Labor and Welfare Bureau of HKSAR. It is my honor today to give a speech to all the awardees of the Best Workplace in Hong Kong 2020 by Great Place to Work Institute, Greater China. Great Place to Work is the global authority on high-trust, high-performance workplace cultures that provides executive advisory and culture consulting services in more than 60 countries. It is the fifth year of the Best Workplaces in Hong Kong Awards ceremony. I would like to congratulate to all the amazing organizations who made it to the list, particularly this year in Hong Kong. We have been facing many challenges and all of you have done a brilliant job on creating great workplaces in Hong Kong. Especially to DHL Express Hong Kong and Mass Company Hong Kong Limited, that they have made it to the fifth consecutive year in the best workplaces in Hong Kong list. Congratulations! Very well done! And I'm, I'm proud to recognize all the award-winning companies this year, and all of you are putting together to create a better future of Hong Kong. Thank you, and congratulations once again. Thank you, Mr. Ho, for your kind message and words. Now, please, let me introduce to you my colleague, Anna Yao. She's our research analyst, and she will give you an overview of the key findings of this year's study. Please, Anna. 
and Christina and good afternoon everyone. This is Anna from Great Place to Work with China. And in the following couple of minutes, I will share some facts and figures about the 2020 best workplaces in Hong Kong. First of all, how do we measure and evaluate culture in an organization? As the global authority on workplace culture, Great Place to Work has been gathering employee experience data for more than 30 years using our Comprehensive Trust Index Survey, which is a set of questions that cover five dimensions credibility, respect, pride, fairness, and camaraderie, all of which are found to be highly related to trust in workplaces. We also have an overarching statement, or you may call it a hashtag statement, which asks about the overall impression when taking everything into account. By carefully collecting and analyzing all employees' perceptions of their working experiences, we are able to recognize great workplaces that pay much effort and succeed in building and maintaining a trusting workplace for all. This year, in our Best Workplaces in Hong Kong 2020, we are excited to have 16 companies on our list with an average trust index score of 84. For the top 3 in our list, their average even goes up to 91. Let's give them a big hand for this astonishing achievement. Now, let's take a look at the trust index by dimensions with last year's Hong Kong and Greater China results. In general, there are improvements in all dimensions when compared with Hong Kong in 2019, and a significant leap of three points is observed in camaraderie, which accounts for a relationship with colleagues and team members. It is enchanting to see that regardless of the unprecedented crisis and the physical distance posed by social distancing and work-from-home policies, people are experiencing and perceiving a much stronger cohesion and connectedness with their colleagues than before. Just as the theme of this year's award ceremony, we are all better together. Is there any difference in terms of the overall perception of the organization for people working longer here and their age? The answer is yes, and for both. As you can see in the graph, in the overarching question, taking everything into account, I would say this is a great place to work. Employees with shorter and the longest tenure measured leave a positive comment on this statement. The general trend shows that when employees stay longer in the organization, there is a bit of fluctuation, but then their impression drops dramatically from 86 to 78 when they move on to their 16th year. Slide 5 And for age, the highest score also comes from the youngest and the eldest, and this exactly reflects the age-specific needs of people from different life stages, like in the career stage of exploration and or establishment, an age when you have more demand from your family roles. Then this in turn leads to the gap of job satisfaction when the company is not aware of this thing needs nor addressing it appropriately. This is another reason why when we promote a for all focus, we encourage leaders to grow in their ability to address the expectations and needs of different groups. Here are some strengths of this year's awardees. They are doing really well in inclusion and belonging. And from the highly scored statements, we can see that great workplaces embrace and welcome diverse individuals, foster an individual's perception of connectedness and care about everyone's well-being as part of the team. Under this year's special circumstances, we have to dedicate much more time to family than before, such as the kids who are now having lessons virtually, and the elderly who need more care and support. So, the statement, I am able to take time off from work when I think it's necessary, comes just in time. Many great workplaces are providing a flexible working schedule, team rotation, and work from home policy to protect employees' well being and help them to strike a better balance between family and work. Next, let's look at the area for improvement. Besides those related to payments and shared profit, these statements also score relatively low on average. Those statements marked with a star represent statements that also achieved a low score at workplaces in Hong Kong last year. So, the issues and concerns are actually quite similar. Nevertheless, you can still find something new, such as having more training opportunities 
to better sustain continuous learning and career development. As you are very aware, this is a continuous improvement process. Great Place to Work aims to have a process of keeping you well informed about the key indicators of how things are progressing in your cultures. Pay attention to the little details that make the difference and eventually fostering higher levels of trust. They become and continue being a great place to work. Thank you very much and congratulations to all the awardees of the best workplaces in Hong Kong 2020. You have made it. Let's go back to our MC Christina. Thank you so much, Anna, for those very interesting results and highlights. Next, we have our Business Development Manager, Shane McDonald, who will talk to you about best practices during COVID-19. We think it's very important to highlight outstanding practices done by a few of our customers. And we have very interesting actions during these very difficult times. We are very interested also in learning from you and taking your inquiries around any specific topic that, you, that, that might interest you. So please reach out and send us an email. Huge thanks to Anna for a great recap of this year's findings. My name is Shane MacDonald and I lead business development at Great Place to Work Great in China. This means I get to work with a huge variety of companies across different industries and of different sizes. I just love my job because it's all about creating high trust workplace cultures at some of the world's most prestigious companies. And boy have you been busy during these unprecedented times. So we're all working through similar challenges. How do we balance and respond to the day-to-day -day decisions we face while supporting the needs, both physical and emotional, of our employees, customers, stakeholders and families. How do we make time and space to care for ourselves as well? So in this segment, we're going to focus on some of the extraordinary measures taken by some of our clients to ensure the safety and well-being of their employees in response to COVID-19. We received a huge amount of practices, but I've decided to group our favourites under three central themes. They are well-being, giving back and all inclusiveness. So I hope that these practices will inspire you as much as they've inspired us here at Great Place to Work. So first up, with the theme of well-being, I would like to share a fantastic practice that was implemented by Tata Communications. In order to help employees at Tata Communications deal with the stress of the current circumstances, they organized over 20 live mindfulness sessions facilitated by Mr. Adesh Goyal, their CHRO, and other certified mindfulness experts. Over 8,500 attendees from Tata Communications participated in these sessions from across five different regions. The feedback and participation has been overwhelming and a testament to the need for emotional and mental support during these times. So these sessions are now available for their employees as a guided meditations at the click of a button for employees to experience at their own convenience. Simple measures like this really ensure that employees are looked after and feel a close association with the company. Sticking with well-being, Stryker created an internal portal that included a really extensive array of resources to help their employees cope with the COVID-19 pandemic. These included virtual trainings and how-to guides. So some of the great trainings on offer were working remotely, best practices, tips for dealing with stress and anxiety, ergonomic tips for working at home, and also what to do if a loved one has COVID-19 symptoms. So really, really good practice here. So our final practice for well-being comes from Wyeth Nutrition and Rackspace. So both Wyeth Nutrition and Rackspace set up incentivized fitness challenges for their employees to try at home. It's very tough to be you know, confined indoors all the time, especially in a city like Hong Kong where we have amazing nature on our doorsteps. So it's great to see companies like Wyeth Nutrition and Rackspace actively encourage their employees to work out and keep up their fitness levels. For me, Working out is a great way to relieve stress and clear thoughts, so I was particularly fond of this practice. So next, with the theme of giving back, I'm going to focus on rack space because one of the practices that they initiated aligned very closely with one of their core values of compassion. 
So Rackspace pledged 50,000 US dollars to organizations around the world that provide support in communities that have been heavily impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, for all the donations made by individual employees of Rackspace, or Rackers as they're called, between April 22nd and May 8th, 2020, Rackspace matched these donations dollar for dollar up to 100,000 USD. So the campaign resulted in over 200,000 USD raised to benefit global and local COVID-19 relief efforts and other non-profit organizations that matter to Rackers. So moving on to our final theme of all-inclusiveness, I'm going to focus on NVIDIA. So in addition to announcing that no employees would be laid off, NVIDIA moved up salary increases by almost six months to help employees support their loved ones. As quoted from the CEO, prioritize your family, our work will wait. We're going to get through this together. And if you need us, we're here. So this really aligned with our theme for the event of Better Together, which is great. Again, during these times of uncertainty, receiving these reassuring messages will result in highly motivated employees that hold a great sense of pride in the organization. So moving to our final theme, I'm gonna focus on why it's nutrition and Meyer. So the reason I want to mention these two companies is that they both send regular care packages to their employees at home with items like face masks, even children's face masks, vitamins and su supplements to look after the health of not only their employees but also their whole families. And finally, one special shout out to Johnson & Johnson, who are actively looking to develop vaccines and therapies for COVID-19. We wish you the best of luck and we're very proud of you. So we hope that you found these examples inspiring. The actions we take today will define our future workplaces. We're all in this COVID-19 crisis together. And a collective crisis requires collective solutions like those we've highlighted here. We cannot stress enough the importance of creating a workplace centered around trust. Our research and findings show again and again that when you have a high trust workplace culture, when you have employees that are inspired and motivated to work, the resulting impact on your business performance is hugely positive. So for more information on how Great Place to Work team shares guidance for leaders and employees by drawing our, on our research and best practices that emerge from our community of certified companies, make sure to contact us through our website. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you so much, Shane. These were very interesting practices indeed. And now, let me talk to you a very special and strategic project in Greater China, and it is the Best Workplaces for Women certification. This is also a certification done in many other countries across Europe, Canada and the US. Just to mention some, so please just have a look. I'm a woman. I'm a woman on this journey through life. The meaning of being a woman is different now and can be related to our workplaces. If you ask me, why would you want to work? Well, I want to work not only for a salary. I want to make the difference. I want to work for a company that encourages innovation. I want to work in a place where promotions are awarded fairly. I want to work because being a woman is not a barrier. I want to work because I want to. Gender equality practices open up many possibilities and opportunities. So building a better workplace for us starts with a decision from you and me. Great organizations for women and minorities are great for others too. Great place to work. I hope you enjoyed the video. So the Best Workplaces for Women certification is a new accreditation that recognizes organizations that provide a great environment to all of their employees and they're also creating a positive and supporting workplace for women as well. In particular, developing and promoting practices that make sure women in the workplace have a fair and positive work experience. And we have the opportunity to contribute to the success of the business as well, while they are developing their talents personally and professionally. This year, two of our certified companies also received the Best Workplaces for Women certification. These two companies are T Connectivity and American Express. 
these two companies joined nine, nine others that were also certified as best workplaces for women in December 2019. Well done to you both and keep it up and thank you for making a difference. Please, if you have any inquiries or would like to participate in this certification, please drop us an email. And this year, we wanted to do things in a very special way. Taking the opportunity of this virtual version of the event, one that will create a much warmer feeling and a high degree of human touch. Our theme this year is Better Together, which is a great place to work global campaign in which we support our customers through webinars, blog, blogs, and findings to help them through these very difficult times. My colleague, Maggie Yao, will talk to you about this global campaign. Please, Maggie. Hi, I'm Maggie. I'm the marketing manager of Great Place to Work during China. I hope you're well and safe wherever you are. It's time like this we learn to appreciate simple things around us, such as work, enjoy a meal together with your family. On the other hand, the COVID-19 has brought us isolation due to social distancing around the world, which makes it harder to remain engaged and possibly losing trust between one another. This is particularly the case when we're not able to stay physically connected and the situation is eroding our normal channels of communication. But in fact, this is the real time to see your team can really experience the level of trust from their leaders, showing off the extended trust that your team has been building from the day to day throughout the years in the office and now transferred to home office. More than 30 years of research have taught us that it is important to listen to the voice of employees in order to better understand how to support organizations to become better places to work. And today, a workplace is no longer defined by the physical working environment. It is the actual emotional support that your organization can offer. We're all better together. And it is because of that we launched a new campaign, Better Together. This year's theme. The core of this campaign is to provide all kinds of information that could help you from time to time, such as COVID-19 survey, webinar, and blogs. All this information can be found in our website and the Better Together. We will continue our efforts to provide more information to help you during this time. And we're definitely better together. Thank you so much, Maggie. And now, the moment we have all been waiting for. But firstly, I want to say thanks to all the companies that participated in this year's ceremony and award, doing special videos, stating how amazing, outstanding, outstanding and great their workplaces are. I would like to remind you also that in Hong Kong, we do not use a ranking system for the best workplaces in Hong Kong list, but rather we list the companies in alphabetical order. Having said this, we will still announce the top three companies in reverse order, all at the end of the proceedings. Another important thing to mention is that we are going to make short breaks between the three blocks of companies. During the first break is a very short and interesting survey that we would like to ask your support if you could help us uh, answer this survey. It's really easy and very quick. Another break will be to mention the outstanding recognitions that we call the legends. The legends are these companies that have been consistently appearing in the list for the last five years. So we will take time to also recognize the continuous effort and improvements of these legendary organizations. In keeping the celebration feeling, we visited also a few of our companies and awardees to deliver personally the best workplaces trophies and certificates with while some other companies helped us doing their own videos and sending them over. You will see all together at the end of the celebration. And now, I hope you're ready and excited as we are. With the help of my colleague Shane, we will present now the first block of our Ds. Please, Shane. So our first awardee is Wife Hong Kong Holding Company Limited. Congratulations.
And next up, we have the trade desk. Congratulations to Tata Communications, Hong Kong Limited. Congratulations, Tata Communication, Hong Kong office! Yay! We trust the people that we work for, and we're proud to be one of the members in the family, and we enjoy working with the colleagues around us. So we are winning together, better together. So let us join together and celebrate! Yes! Yay! Congratulations everybody. This is a great job. Um, I think um, everybody contributes it. Uh, this is very important to us and uh, very encouraging. This is a, a great culture. I'm not surprised. And uh, I'm looking forward we will get the same award next year yeah hey we make it congrats to hong kong office best place to work 2020 yeah during the covid 19 this is my place to work but what i want to tell you where is the best place to work the answer is tata communications it could, the award goes to all the employee base of Hong Kong office and global because in Hong Kong office we are very cheerful once again clap for the Hong Kong office team for being the fourth consecutive winner of the great place to work cheers I still remember years ago we took a picture together in the Hong Kong office to celebrate the same award see the happy faces even though we could see each other now in the office, I miss you guys so much and I look forward to see all of you again very soon. Congratulations! Next up we have Takeda Pharmaceuticals, Hong Kong Limited. Big congratulations to SAP Hong Kong. So, thank you very much. I think this is not uh, a thing where you can say it's the management who is who is doing this thing. I think this is an absolutely team thing. So, of, of everyone, you know, we are running, or I run always the the company, or how I think is if you if you take care about the employees. The employers will take care about the business, yeah. and this is how we how we are running here. So thanks a lot for everything. Thank you also to Margaret and to Tiffany for pulling us into into this, 
and thanks a lot. Next up, we have Rackspace. Congratulations. I'm very delighted to be here in this uh, virtual meeting with all the rackers, as you call yourselves, if I'm not wrong. And I'm very happy to be here for the reason that we are, we, because you are being awarded and recognized as a best workplace in Hong Kong 2020. And we know for all the years we've been doing this, that having this award is, is not a an automatic thing. It requires a lot of persistence, a lot of uh, effort, a continuous improvement process. We are very happy to acknowledge you and to recognize you as the best workers. So, Mr. James, my congratulations to you and all the team. The, the mic is yours. Thank you, Jos. I'm truly honored to receive the award on behalf of Rexpay Technology. So, let me show you the award. So this is the award. The award is the 220 Hong Kong Best Place, Best Workplace and certified as a great place to work in Hong Kong. I would like to dedicate the award to all our passionate Hong Kong records. Yes, we call ourselves records. For those records who have constantly been delivering a fanatical experiment to our customers. Great Place to Work is one of the of our global key initiative for Waxway Technologies. It is well ingrained in our culture. Winning this award is a true testament that we live in the five core values of Waxway, which are expertise, customer-driven, agility, excellence, and compassion. It is all the core of what we do. We are fanatical about our customers' success. We will go above and beyond to support their business around the club. For all the records, thank you very much for showing your love to Rackspace. You are truly amazing. Thank you very much once again. Thank you. <laughs> and our next awardee is NVIDIA. Well done, guys. Thank you so much, Shane, and congratulations to all these companies. Now, let me invite you to please answer this quick survey of interest with regards to content and services in Hong Kong and Greater China. You will see a pop-up in your window or your device with only four multiple option questions around COVID-19. It will take you less than two minutes to answer, and here they come.
much for answering. If you want to go deeper into any topic or any point of interest uh, in the, around the survey or any inquiry or anything else, please do not hesitate to contact us. And now we will continue with the awarded companies. The next block of companies and our next best workplace is Major Trading LTD. Congratulations, Major. It's a great honor for my team and I to receive this great place to work award for the second year. It's been a very interesting and challenging past 12 months with so many things happening around the world and in Hong Kong. At Meyer, our culture is such an important part of who we are, how we work together and how we serve our customers. I am so proud to see how the entire Hong Kong team has contributed to get this award. It means so much for all of us. I really want to thank everyone for their engagement and their contribution. You should all be very proud today. And I promise you, we will celebrate this award as it deserves. Thank you. It's amazing to receive this award for the second year running. Yay! It's been an incredible challenging time and it's a testament to the fantastic spirit on everyone on the team. But Maya has once again proved itself a great place to work. On behalf of the Softlines team and everyone here, I want to say thank you to Maya and to all our amazing people. And Mars Company Hong Kong Limited. Congratulations, Mars. Hello everyone, this is Mars Hong Kong and we are so proud to be nominated as one of Hong Kong's best place to work for the fifth consecutive year. And even during this very difficult time of COVID-19, we have reinforced the health and well-being of our associates as our number one priority. We have encouraged them to work from home and we're continuing to do that, to stay safe, to stay well and to stay connected. And we're so excited, once all of our associates are able to return to the office, that we will have dogs here in the office, which is one of Mars' signature characteristics, is a pet-friendly environment. We want to thank you again for this fantastic award. Thank, thank you! you. And our next awardee is Johnson & Johnson, Hong Kong Limited. Congratulations. Congratulations, Johnson and Johnson. Thank you very much. Uh, we're incredibly honored to receive this award. Uh, thank you on behalf of the entire team members and thank you on behalf of our customers. Uh, we're incredibly honored to receive this award. Johnson and Johnson is the best place. Yeah! And congratulations also to Hayes Recruiting Experts Worldwide.
our D is General Mills Hong Kong Limited. Congratulations! It's our honor to receive the award. Thanks to the organizer for the recognition. I'm very proud to have this achievement. This honor is dedicated to everyone in the team. Big thanks to our team and everyone in the company to make this happen. In general news, we are making for the world love. At the same time, we try to build our company that employee love to work for. Thank you. And congratulations too to Mercedes-Benz Financial Services Hong Kong. Like you said, actually it hasn't been that easy in the last 12 months or so, I think, um, in general uh, for Hong Kong but also for our company. We've had a lot of big projects to deliver um, and uh, things have not always been easy. But I think one thing we have tried to do is um, maintain our focus on our people throughout that time. And I think that's the most important thing and I, I do believe that um, <clears throat> some companies, when, when, when the going gets tough, and things get difficult, whether it's in the economy or social or however it is, sometimes the first thing that gets forgotten is the people and we really try and keep our people on the top of our mind and never forget that and even more so when the going gets tough. So um, I think it's very important and I do believe we have a genuine um, belief in our people focus and we do focus on that very strongly and uh, like I said, during the tough times it's even more important. So a big thanks to all of the team. Um, for all of the hard work and our Great Place to Work committee. We have a very dedicated Great Place to Work committee that do a whole lot of work outside their normal job, which we really appreciate. Um, and we definitely couldn't do that without those guys, but we couldn't do it without all their people as well. Telling you before, we will give a special recognition to best workplaces across the years, the legends. My colleague Alicia Tong will talk to you about this. Please, Alicia. Hi, this piece is London tomorrow. Oh, for me, my coffee break. Thank you. I'll be taking a few minutes to introduce you something very special. It's possibly creating a new benchmark for many companies. Here comes Great Place to Work Legends. There are two companies, we call them legends, for a few reasons, of course. For example, they have been listed in best workplaces in Hong Kong for more than five years. They are also listed in best workplaces in Asia, even world's best workplaces. No matter how things are changed in the world or how unforeseen challenges hit the market like we experienced this year, they have never changed their trust, care and respect to, to their people at the workplace. More than that, as their business nature in manufacturing, FMCG, transportation and packaging, their perseverance has created a better life, more than just best workplaces. 
I have the honor to present you the legends DHL Express and Mars. DHL Express where over 380,000 employees were hired, more than 220 geographic locations. They have made many records as first time in the history, including partnering with Great Place to Work in more than 32 countries over three continents. Mars, a family-owned global business. They are not only making your family, kids, pets happy, they are also making a remarkable commitment to their employees by working with Great Place to Work in consecutive nine years. To listen to our people and show that we care sounds not a rocky science but to keep doing it no matter what in five years is something very unique and rare. I hope these two legends, DHL Express and the Mars, and their achievements show all of us the confidence to keep doing the right thing in many years to come. Congratulations, DHL Express and Mars. I'm very honored, delighted to keep working with you in the future. Okay, Chris and Shane, good job. Thank you for presenting all the best workplaces of Hong Kong 2020 so far. And now it's the moment that we, we, we've been waiting for to present the top three. And we do this just to add a little bit of spice to the list. You know that we are going to publish in alphabetical order, but we always want to make a special recognition to the top performers, and this is the moment. So I'm going to announce three, two, one in that order, and my idea is that uh, I'm going to give you a, a little bit of facts because these are not just three organizations. They are, these are definitely outstanding organizations. They are top performers. They are all in our, in our world's best workplaces list of 2020. And they've been there quite a while, some of them. But anyway, without further ado, let's start with this and let's start with number three. And in the number three, we have a newcomer to the list. And with that, very likely, you already know who, I, we, we, who are we talking about? It's American Express and we are very happy to have you here and congrats this is uh, the first time you're in the list and it's definitely a very very good performance hello everyone american express is honored to be recognized as a great place to work certified company a best workplace for women and one of the best workplaces in Hong Kong. These recognitions are especially meaningful as this is our first year to participate in the Great Place to Work evaluation. They will certainly add on to a long history of being recognized as employer choice in Hong Kong and around the world. On behalf of American Express, I would like to first thank Great Place to Work for your trust and support. It is particularly important for us to receive these recognitions this year, as a lot of us are facing the challenges from the COVID-19 situation. At American Express, we have put out various measures to offer the flexibility and resources to support our colleagues so they can focus on staying healthy, being safe, and caring for their families. And again, we are honored to be recognized for efforts to back our people. We are also committed to create a culture of diversity and inclusion and providing engaging experience that enable the growth of all our colleagues, which is critical to ongoing success. Being named as one of the best workplaces for women we affirm that American Express is doing the right things to support the development of our female colleagues and to help them grow professionally and personally. As a female country manager myself, I certainly feel the pride in working for a company which values gender diversity. These recognitions surely serve as a significant motivations for us. 
It reflects our continuous commitment to creating an ideal workplace and environment for our colleagues. Once again, I would like to thank Great Place the World for this wonderful recognition to American Express. I also want to thank our colleagues who have supported the efforts in making our company one of the best workplaces in Hong Kong. Last, but certainly not the least, my congratulations to all the winning companies today. Please continue to stay safe and warm. Well. Thank you, everyone. For the second place, definitely an important, very important place. This second place is for the most international company in the world. And probably with that, you already know who I'm talking about. DHL, once again, your outstanding performance, not only in Hong Kong, all over the world, second place. Big congrats for you. this would not be possible for all those great stuff my guys and this team has been contributing. Thank you all. And, well, I'm pretty sure you already know who are the first players and probably you're jumping around the office or at home, wherever you are. But still, back in 1941, when Dr. Homer Stryker founded this company, probably he dreamed about accomplishments of all kinds, and today it's one more of those accomplishments. Congratulations to Stryker, the first place of this year. Big, big congratulations. in Hong Kong 2020, especially to the legends at the top three. Thank you all to the people who made this possible, to South China Morning Post, Classified Post, and cpjobs.com, PR Newswire, and our supporting organizations, Startmaker, and Habitat for Humanity. Please follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and post your pictures and your videos. Go social with us at hashtag great place to work, hashtag better together. Please don't forget, we have our award ceremony for Taiwan towards the end of the summer. And if circumstances allow, we will do an event in Shanghai in December 2020 for the best workplaces in Product China 2020. Please stay tuned for updates. Thank you so much to all of you. Thank you for tuning. This has been an amazing and historical experience for all of us. Keep it up, stay safe and healthy, and see you next year.